TSA says it's becoming more inclusive by setting new gender neutral screening standards. The announcement comes on transgender day of visibility and among the changes, gender identification will no longer be considered relevant for ID verification at checkpoints. The traveler's name does not have to be on the same uh, on IDs and tickets. TSA officers will also get new instructions on screenings and the TSA will start using scanners with new technology that will replace gender based systems. Americans who don't consider themselves male or female will soon have a new option on their passports and starting next month citizens can use X as a gender marker. This is the first time a federal government agency has offered this sort of marker on an identity document. The X is expected to be available on other forms sometime next year and joining us live to talk about these changes is Alexis Sanchez with the Sacramento LGBT Center. Alexis, thanks for joining us. Thanks for your time. Talk about the struggles for the transgender community and what they have faced when going through airport security in the past. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I think for most of us, I know that I never look forward to going to the airport in general, right? It's already a really stressful experience, but for transgender people especially, there are all sorts of barriers. So right now, or under prior guidelines and prior kind of state and federal regulations, sometimes there were discrepancies. So California already let you change your driver's license to have an X gender marker if you're a non-binary individual, but the, you know, your passport and federal guidelines might still confine you, con uh, confine you to like either male or female, which can make it really challenging, right? You show up to TSA with documents that um, seem kind of mismatched and then already have to go through a really tough binary screening process, which tends to disproportionately flag trans people, which um, leads to just a lot of extra pat downs and just not, not a fun time. And why are these changes so important? So they will do a lot to make it easy. I think a lot of us take traveling and going on vacation or traveling for work for granted, right? Like I know myself, if I want to book a conference, if I want to go visit family in, other, in another state, I just book the ticket, go to the airport, and I'm worrying about making my gate and, you know, just the typical things. But for transgender individuals, again, there's all of these extra stressors that hopefully these guidelines are going to take away and make it a little easier for folks to just kind of, you know, travel throughout the country, throughout the world to visit friends, loved ones, and conduct business, just like many of us take for granted. So what's and I will... Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I was gonna say, I will say that also these changes to TSA should make it easier for cisgender people, for the general population to be able to go through TSA as well. They're looking at upgrading kind of all of their screening equipment, which will lead to, you know, like less flagging and less pat downs, not just for transgender and non-binary individuals, but for the general populace as well. Have you heard any feedback yet from the trans transgender community on this? If so, what has it been? So generally speaking, there's a level of relief. I think for transgender individuals, we hear a couple of things um, that are kind of sticking points, right? The community faces a lot of challenges when it comes to looking for housing, looking for employment, but also traveling and kind of the limitations that come from that. We've definitely heard some people who are looking forward to looking for guidance on how to go about changing their gender markers on their passports and starting to maybe plan a little bit of a vacation. Alexis Sanchez, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.